welcome back. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys my riding routine with Belle. Turn the light on. So, not my riding, sorry. My training routine with Belle. You guys are like, you ride him already. Well, he is three, but like, he's not trained yet to ride. But, so I'm going to show you guys my training routine with Belle. So first, what I do, well, first of all, I use his gloves for training. Not like all the time, but they're just like leather. They're probably not even real leather. They're just riding gloves from, they're waterproof, it says on there. From, um, it doesn't say where they're from. Maybe that's the brand, waterproof? They're like these. Has a D on it. So yeah, I wear these because they keep my hands, wrong hand, they keep my hands warm and when Bo pulls, if I'm trying to lunge him or something, I can, it won't give me a rope burn. So, um, you guys can, so, I don't know what I'm saying. So, I know our channel is basically about, or it said, while horse training, we do a lot more than that, but I am going to be training Bo today, and he's a wild mustang. Just kidding, he's not wild. So I use this halter. This one came with him, and he does really good with it. So it's just this, the lighting's really bad. This blue and purple halter. It's just a two knot halter. And with this black leader up, that is, I'm pretty sure it's 12 inch, or 12 foot, sorry. Maybe, no, that can't be 12. Yeah, that's 12 feet. Maybe it's like 10 feet. 10 to 12 feet. Um. So, I'm going to grab some treats first. I forgot about that. So, they're just alfalfa, um, like, treats, and they're, like, all different sizes. So, I use these. I'll give them a smaller one if it's, like, not as, like, a big thing. But if it's really big, I'll give them a bigger one. So, yeah, we'll look that up so they don't fall out. Put on my riding gloves. And these are riding love. Like that. Um, so now I'm going to go catch them. I'm not going to like bring you guys with me because I can't do that. It's only me today. So I know our videos are just me. Because Lily's not really wanting to do it. Daphne, no. You can't have another one. She's trying to sneak some treats. It's dumb. She's so funny. She's like the treats are in this bucket right here in this bucket. Right there. She's trying to get up. So, I'm going to go get Bo, and then, um, I'll take him, I take him into the corral. So, yeah, we're going to do that. Okay, guys, so I got Bo right here. Look at the fluffy. Okay, he's so fluffy, guys. He's like, wait, I want to be in the video. So, this is Busters. He's so cute. So, I did bring my saddle over because I usually saddle him. Um... While I'm training them so you can wear the saddle, do all that stuff. So I'm going to set the camera up. We're going to hope that this does not fall. Perfect. I am a genius. Okay, so I'm going to untie him just in case he decides to go crazy all of a sudden. I've saddled him up a ton before and he's done fine. I just like to untie him and leave it wrapped around the pole. But so that way if he does decide he wants to go crazy then he can get away without hurting himself or breaking the pole. So we're gonna do that. Always talk to your horse when you're going under them. I do. Don't go under your horse if you don't trust them. Under the neck, but I do like this. So we're gonna get this saddle pad. This is my saddle pad, I use it for both the horses. Um, I wanna get one that's just his, but we'll see. All right, Belle, you ready? I did check him. Like, I went like this all around him to make sure he didn't have any spikes on him or anything. And I went like that on his back. Um, because I brush him after, give him a good brush, give him his grain for the day. Um, because I wanted to have a reward afterwards. So, we're going to put this on you now. I try not to smack it on him really hard, but... It happens sometimes. Well, I'm do this. Hey, Bo. He's really dirty on this side. Wow, Bo. Who 
dirty pony. It's dirty. He's gonna need a good brushing. Shoot him here. Be nice. Okay. So now I'm gonna just cinch this up. Um, I'll come back when I'm done cinching it up. Okay. So I cinched him up. If you don't know how to cin cinch, gates open. I'm gonna go shut that when I'm done talking. Um, so if you don't know how to saddle a horse, go, I did do a video on how to saddle your horse and um, it'll be really helpful if you don't know how to do that. So um, I used to watch videos like that all the time when I didn't have horses. Now I'm just gonna do it super quick. Um, but he saddle saddled up, so I don't do it tight. Um, I do it tight enough that if he starts bucking, it won't slide under his belly but not tight like I'm riding Aspen and going quick because I want him to be comfortable and say oh this isn't gonna hurt me and like I'm comfortable with this on when I do start riding him more I'll start when I do ride him um I tighten the cinch more and he will bloat so I tighten the cinch a little bit um but yeah so I'm gonna go shut the gate because I don't want Junior to get out okay so for put that down. Oh boy. get your booty so for a training stick, whatever, I use this. We do watch the Pat Pirelli videos. This is what he recommended. If you want to learn how to train a horse, watch the Pat Pirelli videos. They are so good. Um, and yeah, I Bo is so good. Um, I did some stuff with him yesterday that I learned in my video yesterday, and he did so good. It was crazy. So, I'm on level one right now. Well, actually, no. I just finished level one last night. So, I'm sorry. I'm out of breath. So, I'm starting level two today. I graduated from level one. Um, so, yeah. So, this is the stick I use. It's called a current stick, I think. That's what Pat Pearly calls it. It has, like, this six-foot... Um, We'll back up the six foot rope on it and then this four foot um stick six foot rope and then it has this on the end i don't really need to hit bow um you shouldn't have to hit your horse um they should be doing fine with if you're just like that um your horse is stubborn you'll have to decide what to do Oh, is this foot caught? Okay, so we're going to start. Um, I will have to either talk very, very loud. Well, actually, no, I do it right here. Perfect. So I'm going to get my gloves on. Like that. Ooh, yum. And then this one. Bo put his head down when I put mine down. That was so cute. Perfect. Gloves on. They're lined riding gloves, so. Whip in my hand. Bow right here. We're ready to go. He's saddled. You can do this with or without a saddle. It's your opinion, but I do with the saddle because I usually get on him after. I'm done lunging him, backing him up, turning him, all the things. So, we're going to turn the camera now. Usually what I start doing is walking him around um, in two circles both ways um, to warm them up a little bit. So we're going to start with that. I usually only have to put it out and click. We'll see if he's going to have a good day or a bad day, but hopefully he's having a good day. So I hold my stick out like this. And he'll, he, she, he should be bloated after. We'll see. We'll check. Stop him, I sat in front of him and say, Bo, Bo, whoa. And then I, he did it. He yielded his hindquarters. Good boy. Good boy. That's a good boy. Okay, perfect. I try to only pat them to, um, not pat them, rub them because patting is um, for other things. But whatever you want. I just pet them. Come here, Bo. Alright, so now we're going to point him this way. Make him move that booty. Make him yield that hind critter. And go in a circle. Good boy, Bo. So, 
Another thing you can do, what I really like to say with hooks, but you can stretch the hooks like this to get their legs stretched and that stuff. He actually picked up his foot really good. Good boy! Okay, we're gonna give him a treat now. We'll see if he'll smile for you guys. Smile! Come here. Smile! Ready, smile! Good! Good boy, you good smiler. He loves to smile. Um, you guys can probably see I'm not holding my thing really tight. That's because I want him to do stuff without like thinking this is not on. Um, but if he does start to run away, I can grab it. But I just do it really loosely. So when we start to do Liberty, he'll be like, oh, I have a leader up on. Um, or like, I don't know. Most people will just hold their things right here. Um, but if you want to have like a respectful horse, you should hold it right here because it'll be better. Okay, anyways, so we are going to come over here. Okay, and for this exercise, I go like this and, yeah, well, he already did it. So for this exercise, I grab, and I tap the ground in his chest. And he's like, oh, I need to back up. And it's a game. Good boy. I'll see if he'll come to me. Come here. He's like, I don't think I want to. And you'll just comb through it. Good. Good boy. Oh boy. Okay, so the next one, you also need this, and you will tap the string of the thing and let the rope slowly go through. Good. Now, to make him come back, you'll, not a process yet. We'll see if he'll do it. Come here. I don't know if he'll want to. He's like, that's tapping my He's like, he's really stubborn, but he's a good boy. Come here. He's like, it's okay. So now, okay, good. You want to make sure you can pet them with the stick and stuff. Um, um, but yeah. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I did that exercise, so I'm just going to rub his chest. So he knows that what? It's fine. It's not going to hurt you. Oh, sorry. All right. So now what you're going to do with your stick is you're going to do this on them. Not hard. Do not do it hard. You're just going to go soft like this. Make sure the thing is touched. If you want it, if you haven't done this before, I recommend starting on a barrel, pretending the barrel is a horse. It should slowly touch them. So it shouldn't whack them. It should slowly touch them. Um, and so you just do this all over the body. So I'll do that really quick. So I did it on that side and you did really good. So now we're gonna do it on the other side. So if you can see the rope, it's not hitting him hard. It's doing it really softly. You just want them desensitized to this. Perfect. Good boy. Okay. So we got the desensitizing done. Now that we walk them, we're going to walk them in one circle. And then we'll trot them in like one or two circles. Um, and then reward him for doing it on the lead rope. Because he used to not do it good on the lead rope. He would pull. Um, and now he's doing pretty good. He'll sometimes have his things where he just does not want to do it. And then I have to work with him for a long time to make him do it. Um, but we're gonna do that now. So we're gonna ask him to go walk. And he'll pick up the stick, walk, and click. Now, this 
guys are last in the shot. I don't welcome them in the snow because I don't want them to slip, but I do trot them. Because they have pretty, really, pretty good feet. Alright, trot. Trot. Oh. Good boy. That's a good boy. Good boy. Okay. Next thing, we're going to do it the same the other way. So, now that we did that, that's a good boy. So, there's this other exercise. I haven't actually done this one before. We'll see if you can do it, but... For this one, um, you take this string off. And you put the string around their neck. It's not going to choke them. It's just going to be from their point to the shoulders, from the break of their um, withers. I'm gonna take my gloves off for this. All right, so if you guys can see, it's like right here on his neck. You guys can see, and it's not tight, so it's choking him. Um, thank you, you're kind of nosy. Um, so now I just have my whip, and then you guys will see the reason for that. I don't know how he's gonna do. So you might go crazy, and you guys will get a super crazy wild mustang that I got to see for, well, oh yeah, I didn't train him for like two months. I got him out, brushed him, but I didn't train him in that first day a little stubborn there they don't want to do anything um okay so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna tap his like his back and his bottom right here and that's just gonna make him go and i'm gonna keep the rope on his back like this where the saddle would be well we have the saddle on and as soon as he starts to slow down i'm gonna do that See, he doesn't really understand yet, but it's okay. But he's doing really good for not knowing how to do this. Oh, good boy. That's a good boy. For his first time doing that, he was like, wait, what is this touching my bottom? But then he was really good at the, the next time. So for the driving line, that's where you're going to stand. Um, your hand will be on the saddle like this the whole time. And if he starts to slow down, you're going to tap him on the back. Um, uh, that's what I did. So I'm going to do this on this side now. Like I said, everything you do on one side, you got to do on the other side. So we're going to tap his bottom. You'll tap it, you'll start with the, the hair, then you'll go to the skin, please don't kick. Um, then you'll go to the bone, and then the muscle. That's what I learned from Pat Crowley. Um, don't kick me, please. I'm kind of scared he's gonna kick. Oh boy. Good boy. Good. Come here. Come here. Good boy. That's a good boy. He's doing really good. All right. So that's um. I'm gonna trot him a couple more times in a circle. Um. But you guys saw that already. Um. And then um. I'll get on him, but I'll show you guys that part because you probably want to see that part. Probably the part you've been waiting for this whole time. All right, we're gonna do that super quick. Okay, I did like two more circles around each um, side and he did amazing. So now I'm gonna take the camera and we are going to go over here so I can mount him. Um, I do it in the powdery snow so that way if I do get left off or something, the chances of me getting hurt are more unlikely than the hard ice or hard snow. Um, so you in this powdery snow, as you can see. Sorry, that was kind of bad video. And I'm just gonna set the camera down over here so you guys can watch and, whoa, that was deep. That'll probably be good. Okay, we're gonna come over here. I'm not really gonna talk for this part, but 
Yeah, I'm just gonna do this. Okay guys, so for this part right here, I am just getting on and I'm just putting my weight on him just to see how he's going to do, if he's going to do good or bad. It's basically just whatever he's going to do today. Um, and he did really good. He was doing really good just standing there. Now I'm going to hop off and pet him and then do the same on the other side. Now I am going to get on and actually sit on him and he did amazing for this part. And I just sit on him for like one minute or so, 30 seconds. It really depends on how he's doing. If he's just standing there, I'll usually do 30 seconds. If he's actually um, moving a ton, then I'll stay on him for one minute. So when he stops, then I will get off. So he's doing really good. Um, There we go. Okay, so I sat on him. I don't think I'm gonna turn him today and do that stuff because I want, because I did that yesterday. I'm gonna do them down like this. Actually, no, I won't. I'll move it. Um, and I thought I'd just do sitting on him today. So yeah, so that's basically my training part. So now we're going to go and brush him and give him his grain. He did so good today. Um, I didn't do it that long because it's snowy out. I will do a day where I actually do, do a ton of stuff. Um, but the video got kind of long and I was like, um, so we're going to put this open and then I'll meet you guys when I have them tied up and ready to untack. Hey guys. So I'm in here now. Um, I didn't forget to video. Don't worry. Um, so I'm gonna give Bo his grain. Now I don't have him here yet because I thought I'd show you guys. This is all his grain. He's ate that much. Um, I've had it for like two weeks. Probably. So we're gonna put this. I think he needs about two scoops. Perfect. That'll work. It's a little over, but that's okay. So that's how much he gets. About this much of grain. He doesn't get any supplements because he doesn't need any. He just gets um, weight management because he's a Mustang, so he kind of needs it. Guys, I didn't know where to put this except here, but he's like really wanting his grain. We're gonna back him up. So while I give him, I still have him saddled up, but while I, Daphne, while I give him his grain, I pick his feet. Um, now I'm just gonna do a regular groom. I'm not gonna video this part because if you guys want to know how to groom a horse, um, Lily did a video on that. Or she did the saddle. I think it was the grooming one. So that's why it was weird. Okay, so I just finished grooming Bo. He looks fabulous. Don't you, Bo? He's like, I just want you. <sighs> All right, so we're gonna put him up now. Sorry about the bad camera taken, bad video taken. All right, we're gonna go this way. Bo. I can't, okay. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, Oh, sorry. Um, make sure to like and subscribe and... Mm -hmm.